and welcome to Bishop Grotesque University here in Lincoln. So today this video is all about the UCAS application process, but in particular about your personal statements. This video is all about UCAS and in particular your personal statement. UCAS stands for Universities and Colleges Admission Service. They are a UK-based organisation whose main role is to operate in the application process for British universities. It also connects people to teacher training opportunities, as well as apprenticeships and internships and lots more information regarding these. You can also find out about student finance, student life and studying abroad. You can head to the UCAS website to find out all of this information. In the UK, there's around 165 different universities, all offering over 50,000 different courses for you to choose from. So I'm sure you'll find something. Once you've found your ideal course and you've whittled all of your options down, you can now apply on the UCAS website. You'll be given a username and a password, and from there, you can start your application. So the first section is your personal details, and it's as easy as it sounds, your name, your age, and so forth. From there, you go on to student finance, but don't worry too much about this section because it can be changed later on. You might have different circumstances come September, so do not worry, head to the Student Finance website to find out more information. From there, you can go on to your education. So here, you can enter all the qualifications you've previously gotten, or ones that you are working towards. After that, it is about your work experience and employability history, so you can enter anything that you find is relevant to the course you are applying for. After that, it is the main part, your personal statement. We find this to be the most important part of your application because that's your chance to sell yourself to the universities that you're applying for. So once your application has all been filled out and been submitted to your universities, you can still log back in through UCAS to track the status of your application. Here you can find out if you've been given an interview and you'll also find out what your offers are. So, let's find out a bit more about your personal statements. The personal statement is a great opportunity for you to sell yourself to the admissions team of the universities you're applying for. In your personal statement, you can mention skills, experience and any ambitions that you have. A well-written personal statement will make you stand out from the crowd. Your personal statement should be around about 4,000 characters, 47 lines, which is roughly five to 600 words. We recommend that you get started early and plan ahead. It's really not that long once you get started. Your personal statement should have three sections to it, the start, the middle and the end. We'd recommend that you plan this out before, maybe write a few notes under each section. The start should be why you want to apply for the course. The middle should be what makes you suitable for applying for the course. And the end should include any other information that you think would support your personal statement. There's plenty of support out there for you while you're writing your personal statement. There are various videos on the UCAS YouTube channel which can help with this. But be warned, you cannot copy anybody else's personal statement. This is plagiarism. You can't copy any materials you find online either or in any literature. UCAS have a highly developed detection system which will find out if this piece of work is not original. Don't be afraid to ask your teachers or advisors for any help when you're writing your personal statement. They'll know exactly what you need to include. But don't forget to speak to your friends and your family. They know you best, so they'll know what you've missed out. You can start submitting your application from the beginning of September for courses starting the following September. This date does change, so please head to the UCAS website to confirm it. January the 15th is the deadline for all undergraduate courses starting for the following September. These are for people who wish to have their application considered equally to others. You can still submit your application after this date, but it's based on a first-come, first-served basis. So you do need to get in contact with your university to find out if there are still places available on the course. At the start of May, this is the deadline for all universities and colleges to have submitted all of their decisions to their applicants. This can take a while, so please be patient. We also recommend that you don't accept the first offer you get. I know it can be really, really tempting, but try and wait for all of your decisions to come back before making that decision, because come September, you may have changed your mind. If you submit your application after the end of June, you will automatically be entered into clearing. So clearing is what universities and colleges use to fill those final few places on their courses. 
From July until mid-October, you can still apply through Clearing for courses still available if you do not already hold an offer. You can apply through Clearing if you applied after June the 30th, if you didn't meet the conditions of your offer, if you didn't receive any offers or none that you wanted to accept, or you declined your firm offer. If you head to the UCAS website, you can find out which courses are still available at the universities you wish to apply for. If you do decide to apply through Clearing, I'd recommend you do the following things. Firstly, ask for advice. Speak to your career advisor at your school or your college. Secondly, call up the admissions team at the university you're applying for to find out if they've still got places on the course, for them to look for your application, and they might even give you an informal offer over the phone. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you do want to find out any more information to do with your personal statement, clearing, or the UCAS process, then do head to the UCAS website. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again soon.